Hello, hello, let's see. Okay, we got it. Yep. Hey guys, it's Gravity here and another presentation, another video. Um this time it's Pokemon. Pokemon Presents is in sixty seconds. Oh boy. People are wanting Gen 4 remakes. It's probably gonna be something completely different and disappoint everyone. <laughs> No, but seriously, um, I did hear there were some leaks. I didn't see any of it. I just woke up, literally just woke up. So I have no idea what anyone's talking about. And I don't want to know. I'd like to be surprised. So, I think it would be really cool if they released the retro Pokemon games. Maybe Gens 1 through 3 on eShop, whether it be through a collection or... Um, I don't know, uh, just individually, <laughs> and then make them avail uh, able to transfer a Pokemon home. That'd be very cool. Also, Pokemon shirt, let's go. <laughs> um, speaking of let's go, I hope we don't get another let's go. No. <laughs> just realized all of these, uh, <laughs> like half of these recommendations on the side are like Peppa Pig. <laughs> Uh, it's because a lot of the Pokemon videos are like recommended for kids, for YouTube kids. So they do that. It's dumb. <laughs> also, good thing about this stream, um, live chat's at the table. So we can't speed spoilers. Spoilers. I can't speak. <clears throat> Alright. Presentation's starting soon, so. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's a premiere. I think they did that with the last Pokemon Presents. Speaking of, um, for the last one, they did, what, we had Pokemon Unite. They're probably going to have a release date for that. Uh, I personally don't really care about Pokemon Unite, though. The costumes that they leaked out look pretty cool. I mean, Pirate Cinderace. I'd get that. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Ugh. I hate this, uh, premiere music. <laughs> Gonna, I heard a, uh, uh, I think I did this before, but <laughs> basically you could actually speed up the playback speed to make it go faster. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it automatically tries to make itself go away, but you can still do it. <laughs> I, I find it pretty funny. It's a funny loophole. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> ah, I'm cheating the system, guys. <laughs> but if I move, um, it kind of just does that. But <laughs> I just wanted to show you. I cheated the system. But we're at 30 seconds left. I can wait that long. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. <laughs> I would do it the whole time, but like, <laughs> I don't feel like it. Also, apparently this was under my desk. Plushy Sylveon. Uh, new Evolution? <laughs> nah. Oh, another cool thing I'd like to see. Uh, you all know the Pokeathlon from... Hargon Soul Silver. I would like to see that be its own game. Make a Pokemon Olympics. That'd be cool. Alright. Here we go. Gonna full screen this. 20 years of non-stop adventure. I expect like a 50 like a 50 minute montage. Yep, montage time, let's go! <laughs> Why are they putting the hashtags there? <laughs> Pokemon movie was cool. Pokemon Stadium 3? <laughs> hey you Pikachu! Oh yeah! That was like before the Poke Walker. Pokemon Pinball, let's go! 
Well, yeah, that thing. Pokemon Snap, hey. <laughs> Ooh, gold and silver, yeah. Crystal, yeah, that's very cool. Mo oh yeah, they can you can connect it to a mobile phone. <laughs> well, not really a mobile phone, but you get the point. It's like a Nokia. Sk a skateboard? What? Okay, I don't know. Like I don't know about half this stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, the e-reader. Oh yes, the best generation. Uh, no one can tell me otherwise. It's the best generation. Double battles, the best battle format. You can't tell me otherwise. Emerald. Very, very nice. <laughs> Pokemon Dash. Mystery Dungeon. Everyone loves my homies. Love Mystery Dungeon. <clears throat> I oh, got yeah, that thing. <laughs> oh, you know people are gonna be going crazy about that. USB link? What? 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 There was a USB link with diamond and pearl? Like, to connect to your computer or something? Platinum. They just, <laughs> they just glossed over platinum. It's like, what's that? <laughs> they got Pokemon Ranger. Very cool. Oh, that's actually a good transition. I like that. Very smart. Black and white. Rotation battle was a weird battle style. I'll say that. <laughs> okay, a lot of people didn't like the black and white anime. I thought it was okay. I mean, yeah, it was a little dumbed down compared to the other ones, but it did, it did its job. This guy's really trying to sing song this. <laughs> oh yeah, why is it why isn't the online card battle game on the Switch? That's the one thing I always didn't understand. It's like <laughs> Oh yeah, Pokemon Rumble. I, they should bring that back. It's I think they I think it's on a I think they have a mobile game for that, but <sighs> Oh, I hear a red steam. Black, oh yes, Gen 6, the most underrated generation that really needs more love. They should seriously make a, they should seriously like make, <laughs> make like a, a Pokemon Z. They should have. I understand why, but they should revisit Gen, uh, Pokemon Z. <laughs> oh yes, contests, bring back contests. Oh yeah, Pokemon Art Academy, I, I like that game. Oh, Pokemon tournament? Yes, let's go. I'd like a Pokemon too. Um. Oh no. Oh yeah, P Shuffle. Pokemon Shuffle was cool. It's a nice, relaxing Pokemon game. Pokemon Go, I'm assuming. Is next. Yep. Pokemon Go. <laughs> Think I put ha putting all these hashtags at the bottom. No one's gonna hashtag all of this. <laughs> okay, Sun and Moon. Very, very nice. <laughs> Again, skipped over Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Oh yeah, Magic Arp, Magic Arp Jump. I forgot about that. Pokemon Masters, let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, Pokemon Shirts. I would get one of those if they weren't so expensive. Like, they were selling masks for the Pokemon designs. And they're like, what, $40? I'm like, I ain't buying $40 paying $4 for a mask. <laughs> Sword and Shield, let's go. Remote battle? Oh yeah. Because the coronavirus. Oh gosh, Pokemon Smile, why do they have to include that? <laughs> and Twilight Wings? Oh yeah, the virtual festival thing? Oh, yeah, they went to outer space for New Year's. Okay. I Like I said, I was joking. <laughs> Smash. I was joking that it was going to be like a 5 or 10 minute long montage, but it's actually, they're actually doing it. It's like, it's been 8 minutes. <laughs> Go 
go fest. Okay, uh, we get it. We get it. <laughs> please. <laughs> Ishihara, please. <laughs> Give us something. <laughs> please don't let this be the entire drag. <laughs> that would be funny, though. I would laugh. Okay, there we Hello, go. Everyone. Hello, Ishihara. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Let's go. February 27th is the date Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green which is tomorrow Japan, marking the beginning of the Pokemon series oh, this is in 60 frames per second let's go 25 <laughs> years have passed since the Pokemon series was Yo, let's go 25 years so much with you I've only been around for 22 of them <laughs> through our games but also through so many other mediums thanks to the support you've all shown us thank you that Venus or plush is looking Looking stoned to dig. Today, <laughs> Mr. Utsunomiya will introduce our latest updates. Latest updates? Let me hear them. Hello, Who this? My name is Utsunomiya from the Pokemon. The COO. I'd like to give you the Ooh. latest update on the new Pokemon Snap game. We've put together a video that will show you some of the gameplay. Is that like on the top right? Is that like a, uh, is that supposed to be a substitute figurine? I'd like one. I got a Pokemon Snap. Let's go. I'm ready for this. This comes out what? End of April? Welcome to the world of new Pokemon Snap. This is the Lentil region. You'll ride the <laughs> Whoever came up with that region name is silly. <laughs> the jungle, across the desert, and even under the sea. Ooh. To research Pokemon in their natural habitats. Let's go. Look at all those bouffalons. And of course, you won't be alone. Professor Mira, who's doing research Yo, in the this Lentil game looking region, looking kind of nice. Is there voice acting in here too? In good hands. Now then, let's get that research started. Oh, the Vivalon. By watching wild Pokemon, you can discover <laughs> Pichu and Grookey. Oh, nope, nope, they ran away. Look, a surfing Alolan Raichu. Ah, very nice. <laughs> and there's Vaporeon. Let's try throwing it a fluff fruit. Fluff fruit? Okay. It's an apple. He <laughs> just picked it up and it's like, that's mine. Here's a park at night. Pincer! My boy Let's Pinhead. Hoo hoo. Oh, that sure made Hoot Hoot happy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna love this game. It'll be very cool if they announce, like, hey, this also works with Nintendo Labo VR. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we in there. Ooh, blue fire, let's go. Make good use of your <laughs> Look at all this, the Sobble. Really Magic cart. Yo. Then, show the photos you took to the professor. The oh, photo decks. He captured a rare moment. <clears throat> okay, so four stars is highest, not five? Uh, okay. Okay, so you, you get four uh, photo decks for each Pokemon? Nice. Taken. Oh, you can zoom in. Like Ooh, stickers, stickers and, and stamps. I like. Photos even more and I believe, and I'm assuming that they're and like I'm maybe sure have like a, a sharing photos, system right? in the game. We know that feeling well. Or you're just gonna post it to Twitter. Do that, it's time to go yep, online. they have a sharing system. Share I like. Photos and check out photos from around the world. And if your photo becomes popular, it might even be featured and get more attention. Hey. Seeing something like that may inspire you to go back and take <laughs> even more photos. <laughs> Pikachu was sliding, uh, swimming on like a, is that a stun fisk? Ooh, Minior! Ooh! Chincho and Inke, so Metapod, just <laughs> having a meeting. Whoa, Celebi! Better snap, snap a picture already, you idiot. <laughs> Alright, yeah. At the end, literally the end of April. Hey, let's go. Um. What did you think? Very nice. I hope you're looking forward to the game's release on April 30th. Very, very nice. Next, I'd like to tell you about several events we're holding to celebrate Pokemon Day. In the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games... Special Chunkachu. <laughs> featuring Gigantamax Pikachu are underway. It's Chunkachu. <laughs> and in Pokemon Cafe Mix, 
We're holding a promotion in which you can receive 2,500... I forgot about that game. <laughs> in. in Pokemon Go, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and even Mewtwo are appearing in legendary raid battles as part of a Kanto-themed celebration event. Kanto. In Pokemon Masters, Masters DX, DX. Galar region champion yep. Leon and his partner Pokemon Charizard will arrive at last. And Marnie. Don't forget about Marnie. We hope you'll enjoy these events. That's it for this presentation. the latest news about the Pokemon video game series. Have a look at this video. Here we go. Is it Sinnoh? Oh. 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 Yep, it's Sinnoh. <laughs> Surprise. No one is surprised. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Are they about to do something big? Are they about to redeem themselves? Well, to the people that didn't like Sword and Shield, but uh, I already know they're going to do some good. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Experience the brilliance once more. What? Interesting. Wow, that's... That's interesting. It's kind of like a mix of the Let's Go engine and its own thing. What I was thinking was, I was thinking it could, they could use like the Let's Go style in terms of, um, what's the word? In terms of the, the grid style, because that was an important part of like, you know, 2D Pokemon was like the gridding, the grid. And it looks like it's, that's how it, that's what they're doing for this one. I'm sure people are going to be very disappointed, but I, it's kind of cute. I like it. <laughs> as long as they... Brilliant Diamond and Excellent Pearl. Shining Pearl. But, um, releasing worldwide in late 2021. Now, as long as it's regular Pokemon and, like, Let's Go Pokemon, I'm cool. But I, I think the art style looks pretty cute. It's, like, a little chibi. But another, wait, another story awaits. Huh? Pokemon series enters a new era. Uh, uh, what's going on? This is a tale from a long, long time ago. When the Sinnoh region was still only a vast wilderness. What's going on? A certain village bustled with the comings and goings of people. While in the mountains and seas... Pokemon uh, roamed as they please. Uh, um, two Sino games. Oh, 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 oh my God! I did not expect this. <laughs> Is this breath of the po breath of the Pokemon? Frame rate needs a little work, but I have no words. I don't know what <laughs> I have no idea what to say right now. <laughs> uh, you got. Ar Ar Arceus, by all means. Sh Yo, that music? Uh, Pokemon Legends? Arceus. Oh! Early 2022. Oh no, they're gonna make us wait! <laughs> I 
additions to the Pokemon. <laughs> oh my gosh. They really doing it to us. First, I'd like to present the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. So not only are they doing a Kanto, a Kanto, I said Kanto. Not only they're doing a Sinnoh remake, they're doing a Sinnoh prequel, like, like, Sinnoh in the past. I, I am very intrigued. The Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games remakes of the Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon I know people are going to hate this that it's not like a main series that's not like uh, Sword and Shield style but it's cute I honestly um the grid based Pokemon games honestly were really good it's just... Oh wow it's not developed by Game Freak whoa on Pokemon Home The project is being directed by Yuichi Ueda of Ilka as well as Game Freak's okay. Mosta is still in there, the but the wow, Game Freak is not making a Pokemon game for once. Your adventure will take place in the but like I said, it kind of, I like I like this style, and it looks like when you're in battle, you still have your it is a land of many full model. So at least the there's that. The but the question is, is it going to be Let's Go style? Has been carefully preserved. And you'll be able to travel through familiar locations once again. You'll set out on your journey after Turtwig, Team Char, Piplup. Or We're going Turtwig. Let's go. First partner Pokemon. In these games, you can enjoy a grand adventure Be together doof. with all the Pokemon from Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon Pearl version. What about Platinum version? Newcomers and previous visitors to the Sinnoh region alike can look forward to experiencing the original Pokemon. Though Barry's the uh, Barry's model looks a little old. Freshly recreated Off. for Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like his hair looks too similar to his skin. Or maybe I'm maybe I'm looking at the wrong lighting. But they haven't shown us what the. You, think? They haven't, you haven't showed us the battle Diamond system. Pokemon Shining Pearl will launch simultaneously around the world late this year. I mean, that was expected. You're all excited for a nostalgic yet fresh adventure in the Sinnoh region. Now we're going to talk about the next one. Next, allow me to introduce you to the Pokemon Legends Arceus game. They didn't make an Pokemon entire Legends Arceus, Arceus game, bro. A new approach for the Pokemon video game series. Development is in full swing at, at Game, Freak. game Freak, with the aim to deliver a gaming experience that breaks new <laughs> ground for the Pokemon series. So basically, they're trying to make a breath of the Pokemon. Have a look at this video. I didn't think it would ever happen, but <laughs> yo, I'm interested. They got a fix on that frame rate, though. All right, let's listen. The events of this game unfold in the Sinnoh of old. So the Sinnoh old, too, old Sinnoh. Mount Coronet towers over the, the center of the region. Pokemon live freely in the wild here, but the harsh environments may be different from the Sinnoh region you remember. Hmm, interesting. In this era, people have journeyed to Sinnoh from all over and found it a prosperous village in the hope of learning more about this land as for these three pokemon rowlet cyndaquil and oshawott it seems they were brought to Sinnoh by a certain professor who encountered them while traveling around various regions are they like are they like mixing up starters receiving a first partner pokemon of your own from this professor so like you they like picking from a random set that's actually interesting with the village as your base. So not even a Gen 4 Pokemon. Not even a Gen 4 starter. A Gen 2, a Gen... Gen 7 and a... Gen 2. Gen 4. Oh, no. Yeah, Gen 4. I'm, I can't... You can also engage in Pokemon battles Ooh. alongside your Pokemon allies. Yo, that, that, that UI looking clean. What? What just happened? Did it end early? No. What what just happened? It just ends it is ended suddenly. Why did you they did this it did this to us last year. <laughs> Pokemon channel. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um 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 <laughs> um 
<laughs> can we get that? Can we get that back again, please? <laughs> they just kind of. What happened? <laughs> I'm not done with you. <clears throat> um, can we go back? Can we go back? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we're back. Uh, what was that? They did that during when they announced the uh, Isle of Armor and Crown Hunter DLC. It just ended suddenly. A first they did an oopsie. Though I like, I like the designs. They're very, very nice. But it's still like Dawn and Lucas, kind of. Well, Lucas more or less. Face, but no one likes Lucas. To the different corners of the region on your quest to create Sinnoh. No. Very first oh, Pokedex. okay. The first wait, did they say the Even first Pokedex? Era, wild Poke I did not I With wasn't paying attention. As your base, you'll venture out to the different corners of the region on your quest to create Sinnoh's very first Pokedex. You're creating the very first Pokedex, yo. <laughs> Even in this era, wild <clears throat> Pokemon can be caught with Pokeballs. You can also engage in Pokemon battles alongside your Pokemon allies. I like the UI. Skills for both catching and battling Pokemon and strive to complete your Pokedex. It looks like they improved the animations like people asked. Now for the mythical Pokemon that graces the game's title and story, Arceus. According to legend, Arceus shaped all there is in this world. But how is this Pokemon <clears throat> connected to your journey? Oh boy. I'm ready. 2022. The answer to this question and more await you in this exciting new action RPG adventure for the Nintendo Switch system. It obviously looks like it still needs some work. It looks like it's still early in development, which is fine, because you know it, the Pokemon look a little framey. Um, it looks a little, a little chuggy. Pokemon well, Arceus, uh, I don't know what to say, but 2022 is a good. A good, good thing to say because it looks like it still needs some work done. It's probably early in development. Each one distinctly different from the other, with the wonderfully nostalgic Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl, as well as the Pokemon video game series New Journey, Pokemon Legends Arceus. And it's only one version. As Pokemon celebrates 25 years, <laughs> they literally just ended that. It's like what? Ourselves <laughs> and deliver new ways for everyone to enjoy Pokemon even more. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, that's it now. Bro. Bro. We, we, two Pokemon games announced. I did not expect this. It's safe to say I'm hyped. Let's go. Um, I have nothing else to say besides... Can it be 2022 already? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, the Gen 4 remakes, they, they look cute. I like the art style. But Pokemon Legends? <laughs> Let's go! Anyways, adios. Um, I'll see you next week for the Pyro and Mythra presentation. Probably.